which lectures, from which week, from which block, etc. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Piper Jasmine and today I am doing another video for my Back to Medical School series. It's Friday, August 9th. I have... Oh my gosh, literally have Saturday and Sunday and then I go back to school on Monday. This summer went by way too fast. Does anyone else feel like they just need a redo of summer? Because this cannot be the end of summer break, but it unfortunately is. And today I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me and getting my digital notebook together. The first week of school, if you guys are new to my channel and don't know, I'm a second year medical student and also doing a giveaway where I'm gonna be giving away some free digital notebooks for school. You can use an app so like notes and notability giveaway details will also be in this video above but if you would like to enter into the giveaway today comment down your favorite school subject for me i don't know i'm not gonna lie i don't know if i really ever like like school but that sounds wrong considering the fact that this is about to be my 18th grade i'm not gonna lie my favorite school subject was probably the subject that required the least amount of work sorry is that bad like should i like take that out? no clearly i made it this far okay actually Actually, I think that my favorite subject in school was probably organic chemistry and you guys are either gonna hate me or love me I don't know why I I was a beast at Ochem. I take that back. I was a beast at Ochem 2 Ochem 1 was definitely a little bit more difficult for me, but Ochem 2 was a beast so yeah, just comment down below what your favorite subject is in school to enter into my giveaway. We're going to be getting my digital notebook together and I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I organize lectures and my lecture slides and my digital notebook. So if you're interested in seeing how a medical student organizes her digital notebook and notes and lectures, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe and let's get on to the video. Hello stranger. I only take notes on my iPad. This is the like, I have no idea what iPad this is. This is like the iPad 14, something like that. And honestly, just really quick, this pencil gripper is so cute. Back to school supply haul. Um, you can check out that video for some of the things that I got for school this year. Okay, so actually I think I'm gonna scoot over to put my iPad screen up here. Okay, so we are currently on my iPad now. For the first week of school, I'm going to be using the Study Sleep Repeat set. Um, I just really, I don't know. I really just like this set and my digital notebook set, they also come with different covers. So I'm just deciding if I wanna keep that cover or if I wanna change it. So this is the first week of the first block and I think that I'm just going to title this notebook. Let's just do Ugh. 12th to the 16th for date purposes gonna hit text and i think i'm gonna do the same thing for this title just so it makes it easier in figuring out like what notebook contains which lectures from which week from which block etc personally i like the baskerville font so i'm also gonna change this to baskerville i think the bold is cute increase the size actually I don't want the bold. August 12th to the 16th is what I'm gonna label it. And so if you like go out of good notes, then you'll see it like on that cover, August 12th to 16th for me to know. Okay, cute. So scrolling down, this is my contents page and I have 12 hyperlink tabs. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're going to import our contents, which will be the title of my lectures, and we're also gonna go ahead and import the lectures into it. So that's how I do my notes. I like to annotate the lecture slides like while in class and listening and attending to the lecture. I just filmed and organizing my class schedule into good notes so if you guys want like a more in-depth look of my schedule then make sure to check out those videos as we're, I, we're only gonna be looking at this first week of classes I'm not going through like the whole month or anything like that just this first week we're getting the notebook ready for so on Monday I have orientation so I'm that doesn't really count Tuesdays when I officially start classes and so my first class is introduction and general principles one so what i like about 
Oh, what I like about taking these digital notes, like on good notes and stuff, literally, you can just use the diction. I mean, you might have to tweak some stuff, but principles one. And I think this said pharmodynamics. So I think for this, I actually kind of like this font right here, this Helvetica, however you pronounce that. But sometimes I also do the D dot. So to make your life easier, just copy it and then paste it. And then we have intro to path cellular injury and death. Next we have interviewing and introduction. Then we have intro to micro. After that, medical records. After medical records. Oh, let me turn my iPad around. After medical records is cell growth and proliferation. I think this one is long. Yeah, necrosis and apoptosis. And then general principles too. Let me shift this to, I think this is pharmacokinetics. Pharmaco... Intracellular, oh my gosh intracellular intra slash extracellular accumulations inflammation and then we have the organisms then lastly is the organisms so these are all my lectures that i have for the first week one two three four five six seven eight i don't know what this is gotta delete that eight lectures so now it's time to import my lectures into good notes and like kind of create the chapter tabs for it per se so what i think is the easiest to do is to copy and paste your text so i'm gonna hit copy for that first one we're gonna go to the hyperlinked tab one we're gonna do paste and then i'm going to go ahead and import my my lecture as well and I'm just going to show you guys how to do this for this first time so this video doesn't take forever. Personally, what I like to do when I use good notes, I like to... This is definitely very dependent on your professors and on your school, but a lot of my lectures are uploaded as, as PowerPoint files. And so sometimes on good notes, some of the, sometimes the slides are cut off and like the images are all messed up. So I personally like to convert my PowerPoint into a pdf and then import it into my good notes um the pdf version just like converts better into the app so we're importing now so when you import into good notes you already want to be like on the page that you want to add whatever you're adding to um to go in after because it's going to import after the page that you're on i was already on that title page so i can go ahead and open bin my lecture into good notes and as you see it's on the right page we're going to import to current document and and then you have your lecture slides in now your all of your lecture slides are in and you can annotate easily as you're in class listening um ask qu write questions on the side or just little notes to yourself and so just annotating on the slide makes everything so much more easier to me and so what i like to do as well in my good notes for my organization i like to bookmark pages bookmark my chapter pages so going back to page three which was my introduction and general principles i'm gonna hit the little bookmark button and so this makes it easier for me to navigate and like find this or you can use the hyperlink tab it's up to you but that's what i like to do and then my methodology for school is i like to condense everything that i learned in lecture to one slide so what i'm gonna decide is like what page template do i want to use to write down all my notes in one slide. So with my digital notes, I offer a ton of different um, page options for you to choose from. And hmm, I haven't taken notes in so long. I feel like I used to use the dotted sometimes, but I actually think that I want to go ahead and add in a narrow ruled paper to each chapter. I'm kind of stuck between if I want to use this white or if I want to use this kind of like cream color. Mm. Honestly, let's go for white for this week. So, so once again, I'm just bookmarking it. So it's really easy for me to find the page because my lectures, like the lecture that I just imported, I think this is 40 slides. So eventually my good notes is gonna be like packed with a whole bunch of shit. So 
bookmarking it makes it easier so you're not wasting time scrolling and so i'm also going to copy this page and i'm gonna go back i'm actually gonna go to two first i'm actually gonna go to two first and i'm gonna insert that page before two so it's my last page this is my last page of that first lecture we just imported so i'm gonna hit the add page button and i'm gonna do paste page and i'm gonna go ahead and bookmark this page and this is gonna be like my summary like content review page i put it at the end of each like chapter each lecture section so that's basically how i organize my notes and so now i'm going to put this in like a time speed so you guys can see what I do and so you guys like so this video isn't like 45 minutes long because I got like six lectures to import so let's let's hit the timer I just want to say really quick for my pathology lectures I don't have access to them yet so we're not importing there will be some stuff that there will be some chapters that don't get lecture slides because I don't have access to them yet Okay guys, so this is the final like layout of my of my notebook for this first week of school. The total amount of slides I have is 272, but that's with all the extra templates that I have in it. Um, with the lectures, 242 total. So that's why I say it's really important to bookmark it because you're gonna have so much stuff and so much material. But this is the cover, you have the contents down. And yeah, I am now pretty much ready for the first week of school now. I really am going to try to make this into a habit where I take the time to get my notebooks ready for school before actually being there because I'd be missing stuff in lecture because I'm importing, I'm finding the document, I gotta find the room, the space, and it's so annoying and it makes me feel very ill prepared for school and I like being like a good student. And I like to come prepared and just taking a little bit like 30 minutes to get your notebook together get all your lecture slides in there can really just make you feel more prepared and like more eager to go into to go into the classroom and to learn and do and because everything is on my iPad too it makes it a lot easier to just review the slides like 10 minutes before class starts or the night before class starts since I've already done the I've already done the organization of everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it insightful and maybe a little bit helpful for how you can organize your notes for school using digital notebooks and an iPad, or at least just seeing what maybe a typical weekly lecture schedule might look like for a medical student. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to leave a comment down below. Don't forget in this video to comment down your favorite school subject to be entered into the giveaway. And my digital notebooks will be going on sale on Etsy on August 28th. So I hope you guys were able to kind of get a glimpse with how that works out and how good notes works. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. By the way, just got in town, and I won't let you.